guys, welcome back to the damn shit show. I know it's been a few days. I've been absent. I've been, you know, handling my business, Halloween, birthday parties, yada, 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 living life, etc. And in the meanwhile, I've seen that our girl, Queen Cringe, has come up with a new hobby. She's dumpster diving now, y'all. And that is the video that initially I was going to react to. But, but... Before I even had a chance to, she drops another gem, y'all. And maybe another day I'll get to that dumpster dive because I haven't even got to watch it yet. And I'm curious how our girl in and out of these dumpsters. So we'll get to that eventually. But today, like I said, we're going to react to her new video. So let's get into it, y'all. Okay, she has titled this video Spaghetti Dinner Mukbang in Q&A. Mm-mm-mm. Can't wait, can't wait. I can tell by the thumbnail, y'all. I can just, I can just feel it in my bones. It's gonna be a good one. Hello, foodie beauties. Y'all don't forget to add in the cat hair for anybody out there trying this recipe of Chantel's. Do not forget the pound of cat hair. Listen to the fancy music, y'all. She's really stepping her game up here. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys, hey, hey, hey. That's a lot. That's a lot of pasta, y'all. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hi, guys. Hi. Wow. I sure missed you guys. <laughs> <laughs> sure missed you too, Chantel. So, yeah. Um, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Foodie Beauty. <laughs> I said I'm Foodie Beauty in case you didn't get that. This is already awkward. We're not even, we're a minute, 16 seconds in and it's already awkward, y'all. Um, so yeah, today I have a homemade cheesy spaghetti. Um, I made the sauce this morning, early this morning. I was awake and being ultra productive. So <laughs> made the sauce. Um, this is a huge. She considers this ultra productive y'all this is this is what she considers productive take a look at that there you ever want to know what can what Chantel considers productive take a look at that there plate of spaghetti y'all that is productive in her book and her vocabulary that's what productive looks like y'all plate of spaghetti I know um and I have some garlic toast on an onion you want some sauce with that there spaghetti Chantel bun with creamy butter and to drink which is not in the frame is this Bosch peppermint nettle um, kombucha that I really love. So I don't know if I would drink anything peppermint other than maybe some peppermint tea. Yes. So I did actually cut my own hair. Like I just, I looked up a tutorial and I just kind of like layer it myself. Is it just me or does Chantel need to lay off of the YouTube tutorials? Because every time like all of Chantel's shenanigans, let's be real here, comes from YouTube. Uh, mukbangs. I'm sure she got that bright idea from YouTube. Uh, dumpster diving. Let's be real, y'all. YouTube. Uh, becoming a vegan. YouTube. Keto. YouTube. Chantel, lay off YouTube, girl. You're gonna end up, uh, bald-er, okay? Put the YouTube down, Chantel. But it's not even, of course. So... You, really? You cut your own hair and it ain't even? What a shocker that is. <sighs> What can you do? And I'm kind of hot, but anyway, I don't know if you can see my mustache in this light, but if you can, oh well. <laughs> so I actually saw a um, video recently. I don't know. It's probably on Barcroft TV. They have all these like different videos of like different people and stuff. So there was a woman, like a very beautiful woman. She had like a full beard, like Pete's beard. So I was like, you know what? 
she can rock that in style i can rock this stash okay Oh my God. Oh my God. First it's the body positivity and now it's going to be what the hairy positivity movement. So we're going to be all for women. I mean, no hate to any girl out there rocking a beard. I just can't. I just, I don't know. That ain't my thing y'all. But I mean, if she, I'm all for Chantel doing it. I absolutely support this movement y'all. hundred percent approved. <laughs> so anyway, so, oh my gosh. Okay. I'm so hungry. Like, you know, you know the deal. So let's keep Yes, we do. A beauty bite. I made this with ground chicken. You can use ground beef. I actually like ground chicken more. That didn't look like ground chicken to me. That looked like some pieces of chicken cut up in a pan. That did not look like ground chicken at all. Then ground beef. The cheese is not really melty, but... Oh, beauty. Man. Beauty. Brace yourself, people. It's going to be a lot of slurping in this video. <laughs> This is going to be messy. <laughs> you can just tell. And it's super close up. What was that? What was that? I didn't even mean to catch it. Did you see that? Let's let's let her finish. I just... Okay then. Moving on, shall we? <laughs> A lot of people wonder about that. I do that when something tastes really good. And it's like, shh, let me focus on my bite, you know? No, no, I don't think any anybody here watching this video knows what the hell you're talking about. Let's try a spaghetti sandwich. So today we're going to do the Q&A. This is a disaster. What am I doing? It sounds like she's eating with false teeth, with her jaw clicking or whatever y'all call that. Uh, I can't even, I ain't even going to try to imitate it. Just forget it. So, let's get to this. Let's get to, let's get to. Let's get to, let's get to. That's what we're here for. <laughs> this Q&A. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I wrote down 10 questions um now i want to i want to tie my hair up because this is going to be messy but all of a sudden she wants her hair out of her face all of a sudden i've been saying that for how many videos now i'll just put it back so <laughs> 10 questions so this is like part one i just went with the most popular one question why do you do this to yourself Chantel? that that's number one most popular question Look at that still, y'all. Look at that. Pure genius. I know. I'm an art. It's art at work, you guys. Art at work. Why do you do this to yourself, Chantel? Let us all know. Had, like, over 500 likes. Meatball. That's not a meatball, Chantel. So I can take the hint and gather that you guys want to know these questions that have the most likes, right? So number one, <clears throat> now this is paraphrasing because I wrote them out. So why are you not sticking to surgery prep, home cooked stuff for mukbangs? I thought your Arby's mukbang was your last fast food one. Am I missing something? Is surgery no longer happening? Well, let me go ahead and smash a piece of this here garlic bread while I answer that there question, gal. Alright. So back then... You know I'm impulsive. So sometimes I say things quickly and don't follow through always um so that's one reason um two uh i am now trying to do more home cooked oh all of a sudden huh chantel now you're trying to do more home cooked <sighs> more bullshit 
um, than bef when, when you ask that question. Um, I don't really have, like any pre-surgery plan that I had, I came up with myself. I'm gonna have a sip of my drink. Woo! Wow. Her hair looks a lot thinner than what it was, y'all. Hmm. I bet she's a backwasher. And since I can't stick with anything, um, yeah, but I am trying to. <clears throat> get better nutrition like obviously look at what we have here people stop asking the obvious okay more vitamins minerals like micronutrients that's at least a pound there pasta y'all do you know how much nutrients is in that jesus lay off and eat healthy the majority of the time mm -hmm. we can see that um being sick recently with strep has made me like appreciate you know when you're sick you don't want junk food for a reason your body's not craving that it wants like nutritious food like the homemade applesauce you made so on your deathbed I'll add yeah um the surgery is still happening sure Jan On November 20th. So Mark your calendars, people. November 20th. We are actually 16 days away. I wasn't given like a specific diet from doctors to follow um, or anything like that. I was told I should walk every day. <clears throat> it is cold. <laughs> and I know that's kind of an excuse, but I am doing... It was just too hot. Now it's too cold. I mean, is there a perfect time for you, Chantel? Well, I will be doing some home exercises. Um, Don't they live upstairs? I have to do that. So that's, I guess, I hope that answers your question, number one. Cleared that right up. Number two, that had the most... This is like in descending order of like which questions had like the most likes. Did I miss this? Because I didn't see her ask uh, to post questions because I sure would have posted some on a troll account. God bless. I missed out. Why did you give up? <clears throat> so I'm assuming that you mean why did you give up on your weight loss journey? Um, I did not give up on anything <laughs> or maybe it's like why did you give up on yourself kind of thing if you mean weight loss journey I what I gave up on was having a weight loss journey on YouTube <laughs> really so you're having this secret weight loss journey behind the camera, but on YouTube, you just come on here and do this kind of shit. It's obviously you're not following any kind of weight loss journey on or off camera, Chantel. We all have eyes. We can see how that's going. I hated having to like explain a fallback or feel guilty or be shamed or, you know, or have countless videos criticizing what I'm doing, like, on, on a weight loss portion of it. Um, <sighs> so everything is, like, behind the scenes, which I know under, which makes it, like, I understand, like, the whole, this whole thing is, like, bigger than me and my channel. It's, like, an issue of a fat person on social media eating large quantities of food no 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 don't don't even look at this look at it again y'all what can i say the issue is Chantel, is that 
uh, with your so-called weight loss journey is that you lied to your audience. You pretended like you were losing weight or are trying to lose weight on camera but off camera you were doing the complete opposite you weren't being uh, transparent with people who were watching you and tuning in and you were basically just lying and then in the same breath you would have nerve nerve to shame other youtubers who were kind of in the same boat as you you get what we're saying here Chantel it's not because of well yeah it is okay but but still it's because you lied and now uh, I would say you were being honest until you just said what you said, which is you're handling your weight loss journey off camera. And that's obviously not the case either, but you are doing right now. This is what you do. This is being the real you. Or eating food that you wouldn't typically call diet food. So I get that. But I just want to keep that off my channel, especially for now. Yeah, so I haven't given up on anything. Really? Nothing at all, huh? Telling the truth there, Chantel? That looks like a truthful face. What do y'all think? Except for public weight loss journey gotcha following you three what is your highest level of education now i'm surprised this got a lot of likes maybe tread slowly there chantel tread slowly people are like <laughs> think i'm think i'm dumb or <laughs> and want to know or just curious I th i've talked a lot about this of like like an og food foodie beauty a lot of this is going to be repetitive Stop saying OG, Chantel. You stole that from our, our community. Stop it. Good for you. Um, but I do have some more subscribers. And I'm almost at 60,000 subscribers, so... You're welcome, Chantel. You're welcome. Just like you like to tell us that we only have subscribers because of you, I feel like your channel is only growing because of us, Chantel. Because there's plenty of people in our comments and our community who have never heard of you until we came along. So you're welcome. I'm really thankful for that. Thank you. <laughs> You're Excuse me. A lot of people want to tune in to see the shit show, Chantel. Mm. I've been craving homemade spaghetti dinner and like the vegetables are so good. Car That's her nutritious, her nutrition for the day, y'all. Those, those vegetables they count for something it's in zucchini and just like <laughs> this is spaghettini so it's like smaller than spaghetti it's my favorite kind i like thinner pasta than like thicker i don't know that's just me mm. So, my highest level of education, <clears throat> completed education is high school. Um, and I did go to university a couple of times, dropped out once, and then went back, dropped out again. Mm. She's working at spaghetti, y'all. So I have like two and a half years completed of like an undergrad, which I don't know if it would still even, like if I had to go back, you know what I mean? I'd probably have to start over. But. Wow, that's a lot of pasta. I'd like to know the amount of carbs in that there plate. It was like an undergrad with a specialization, honors degree, specialization in English. And it was, it was fun. It was just like, why did I quit the f second time? Mm. Because if it's not instant gratification, you can't seem to finish anything. Huh. 
health problems. <laughs> like, <clears throat> around that time I was diagnosed with my first, like, ovarian cyst issue. Oh my god. So I had to be off for surgery. So I think after that I just, like, finished my semester and, like, <clears throat> You know, and I think that's why I have a lot of like dreams about being in school and like not finishing and like being late for an exam of a class I like never attended. All year long, you know what I mean? Four. Do you think your weight will affect you negatively as you get older? Yeah. Yeah, without a doubt. Um, now, it doesn't necessarily mean that it will but given my age now and the health problems I have now is a good indication of yes I think before she's made a statement to where she would rather um live her life the way she wants to, which is, you know, eat the kind of food that she wants, then, you know, live forever. You know what I mean? I can't remember what video it was, but she has said something like that before. Like, she'd rather be happy and do what she wants and not have to worry about, you know, if she doesn't live as long, then she's okay with that. She's ready to accept that's her fate. Five. <clears throat> Why is BB's sister living with you guys? Ooh, good question. She's staying here. She was supposed to move in with a friend, <clears throat> another roommate, and then there was a tornado. I know, there was a tornado. And that tornado destroyed her friend's apartment, so her friend ended up like not moving into that place. So she needed somewhere to stay quickly, so she, we have a spare room, so why not, <clears throat> you know? I know he would help out my family if, if we needed to. Um, and she's going to be going back to her home country, Senegal, Africa. I think November 18th. So it was just until like, and plus she's going through like some stuff with like immigration and stuff. So she's waiting for her like permanent residency. So she's just staying with us for now. It's not like permanent, you know. My nose is running because of the chilies I put. <laughs> I can't believe she's still going. Honestly, I really can't. Six. <clears throat> Have you ever been jealous of anyone? Sorry, I had to sniffle. Six. Have you ever been jealous of anyone and get angry at them because of it? Um. Of course I felt je jealousy. I think we all have like an envy. Cough, cough, Charlie Goad. Cough, cough. I would say mostly. <clears throat> I'm not really like this anymore. Really, Shanto? Because last week, weren't you just striking people? There was a girl who Pete had a crush on before we were dating. And I would just be like snotty to her because... I knew she, like, <clears throat> I knew he really liked her. Like, she didn't feel the same way about him. So I envied her. I was jealous. But, <clears throat> I mean, yeah. So those are, like, 
mostly like related to like my man or something you know like I would have that kind of jealousy but I'm not like that anymore like I've grown grown out of that and seen how ridiculous it was <laughs> you know sure okay number seven are you happy <laughs> million dollar question right ah <sighs> If I told you yes, would you even believe me? I would. I think you are happy. Well, to your standards of being happy, I would say this, you're living your dream, dude. People, I feel like people think that because I'm overweight. Have health problems. Have problems, which every human being um does that i can't be happy um the simple answer is yes i'm very grateful that's something that i've had to practice though is to be grateful for what you have and that's a big source of my happiness because if you compare yourself to others, like that's why they say comparison is the thief of joy. Um, if you always try to get more than what you have, if you like rely on your happiness to be, to attain things you don't have, then you'll never be happy. You know what I mean? Um, so yes, I'm very grateful for my family um for the love i have in my life like without love it's just from anyone family friends lovers animals you know like i'm grateful for my car i have a roof over my head the question wasn't if you were grateful chantel it was if you were happy this big plate of spaghetti <laughs> um everything yeah i'm very grateful for my friends um you could have all that stuff a person could have everything that they want in life family friends love and still not be happy that was not the question chantel yeah i'm very grateful grateful for my youtube like this channel she's a youtube star she's a youtube celebrity um this part of my life for you guys so i, I mean yeah I'm, i would say overall i'm pretty happy um, could I be happier? Maybe, probably. Her community tab says that you are a liar. But definitely. <laughs> Eight. When Pete's and you broke up. She acts like she's getting puke from eating all that, for real. Was one of you left heartbroken and did, did either of you try to win the other back? So... We were both heartbroken. Um, breaking up with somebody is almost as heartbreaking as being like, I'm sure it's not the exact same, but it's so heartbreaking. Breaking the heart of somebody that you love and care about. <clears throat> so yes, I'd say we were both heartbroken. Um, It was a very mature breakup <clears throat> and in a way it's kind of like we never did because we spend you know at least once a week sometimes twice a week together as friends but um no he never tried to get me back like he was very respectful and we really talked about it and he understood so I think that's why he never tried because he understands that for me that ship has sailed and there's just no romantic feelings. Um, I'm very much in love with BB. <laughs> so, and that's who I want my future with. So, yeah. Um, the lies are just pouring out of this video. Just pouring flat out, girl. Hope that answers your question. <laughs> um, <clears throat> nine, do you have hobbies? <laughs> You're looking at it. Nope. <laughs> oh, 
honestly right now not really um I work on my channel hang out with friends read Um, I do a lot of stuff for my grandmother, so that's time consuming for my, see my family. Um, it's not really time consuming for my grandmother. Like I don't see her like every day or anything. It's not like I'm like her caregiver, <clears throat> but I mean like family, friends, reading. I love watching horror movies. Like I love anything horror. So I like reading. I like, um, reading and watching horror. I binge watch. Same. I didn't realize it until I started watching you, though. Stuff. <laughs> Is shopping a hobby? <laughs> but I don't have, like, a stamp collection or anything. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> I don't craft. I hate crafts. Like, I hate coloring. Anything like that. <laughs> I do crosswords. I have some crossword books I like to do once in a while. Um, ten. And the last question. If you weren't doing YouTube, what kind of, what kind of job would you want? Um. This is her job, people. Take a look. Take a look at it right now. You see this? I don't know. Like, honestly, to this day, I'm going to have one more huge bite. <laughs> Put the rest. I know it doesn't look like there's much sauce. It's because there's more pasta. Uh, yeah. Mm. <sighs> and put the rest in the fridge. Why would you save that? Literally, why are you saving noodles? I, that's the question I want to know. Write that on your list for part two. Why are you refrigerating noodles to eat as leftovers later? That just doesn't make any sense. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what I want to do with my life. Like that's career wise like I don't have a definitive career you know how some people just have like a career that defines them in a way like this person's a lawyer this person's a doctor they know what they've always known what they want to do some person's um astronaut I think I've probably wanted to be all of those things at one point in my life so I don't know so like a job that I'd want to do and a job that I would end up doing are two different things so if I never ever dabbled with YouTube, I would probably end up being uh, working in an office like I've always done or something. I really don't know. Um, so yeah. Well, thank God for YouTube, Chantel. So there you go. Uh, Here's the real question that you should have answered is, if it wasn't for YouTube and you never would have made this channel, do you think that you would have turned out the way that you have as far as like the weight gain and things like that? Or do you think you would have chose a more healthier lifestyle? Put that on part two. But if I had like a choice, like if I could have a dream job, like I really honestly love doing YouTube, even though I know that sometimes the negativity gets to me, I'm trying really hard now not to let that happen but besides that um it's literally been less than a week than she has struck somebody but yeah she's really trying really hard i like being <laughs> i like being the center of attention so probably something that involves that somehow i don't know how why am i not surprised that you like being the center of attention an audience somehow you would think by watching Chantel that she is an only child just the way she acts like she's just so spoiled so anyways, guys, that's it for part one of Q&A. And, &A. and um, excuse me. Ooh, that's filling. Carbs. <laughs> People on keto are probably like, this is going to be the mukbang for you. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess that's it for this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Toodaloo.
Okay, guys, that was part one of her q and A. I I need somebody to find out where we can submit questions to part two. People put together some good questions. Those were not, those, some of them were okay, but no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. We got more questions that we need to answer. Put your questions together. Let me know in the comments where we can go leave these questions at. And uh, yeah, we'll see if she'll answer those in part two. Other than that, I'll see y'all in the next one. Hopefully we'll get to this dumpster dive so I can see how Chantel got in and out of the dumpsters. I'm assuming, I'm assuming she must have got one of these dumpsters that must have had like a little mandor on it or something. I don't know. Don't spoil it for me. We'll get to that hopefully tomorrow. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace.